Good girl, Amanda. Thank you very much for coming back. Okay. Right, we're going to ask you a few questions and then we're going to ask you the same questions as we asked John, okay? And then okay. we'll bring John back and ask him the question we're asking you right now. Okay? Right. Now, a very simple one. If he was buying you a special gift, all right, for your anniversary, your special birthday or whatever, this would be a special gift now, would he ask you what you'd like? Okay? Would he ask a friend for an opinion? Would he be dropping hints around the house? Would he get you a voucher and let you get something yourself? Or would he just surprise you with maybe something stupid or whatever, you know? Which of all of those things now would he do? Your romantic husband. He'd ask me what I like. He'd ask you what you'd like. He's kind and thoughtful like that. <laughs> Unimaginative. Unimaginative. Unimaginative, oh yeah, okay? He's liable to come with a barrow or something or a transport box, okay? <laughs> Okay, well, seeing that he's so imaginative, we're going to ask you this one. When was the last time that he bought you sexy underwear? Was it last month? Last six months? Would it be years ago or never? About two years ago. About two years. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Was it nice? Very nice. Very nice. At the plow. What was? <laughs> Was it a negligee? No. No. <laughs> Just need a bit of help here. A pink one. <laughs> Was it a, a, a pair of galluses, you know? The... No, you know the thing. The galluses. <laughs> the bra, the bra. All right. No. Desi, come on now, Desi. Give us a help, bit of a help here. It wasn't, it wasn't a negligee and it wasn't a bra. A pair of pants. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It was a set. A set of pants. <laughs> yes, it was a set of what? No, I, did, I didn't know what galluses were, so that's why I said no. So it was... Well, me, you know, never hear the song with me, galluses and me gun. <laughs> Does anybody down there know what galluses are? Seamus Burton knows of it. Yeah. You know what the lads used to hold up their pants with me? <laughs> so a set, was it a brown and pants? I just, this is not really a question, but what colour was it? Do I have to tell you? Yeah. Right? It's red. Red. <laughs> like my teeth. Huh? Like your teeth. Red. You're not wearing them tonight, no? No, no. Okay. If your husband was to live his life, his working life, over again, suppose he was to start again, he was only 20 or 21 or whatever, okay? What job or business do you think he'd take up? You know, if he got another, did he ever say to you, Jez, if I was young again, I know what I'd do, he'd be a banker or whatever. What do you think he'd do if he got another go at it? I'd say he'd be a farmer. He'd still be a farmer? Yeah. Well, he's, of course, he's a kind of a half farmer now, isn't he? Or would you call him a full, 100% farmer? Oh, no, he's back farming now. He... He's back farming full time. Yeah. So you think if he was going to start all over again, he'd still go back to the farming? Well, I don't know, probably not, but he, I'd say that's what he'd say. You said, he was trying to think of what you'd say. <laughs> I know you were trying to think of what he'd say. You'd have all this plan, you know. <laughs> All right, now, if you were on holidays, out in the sun, okay, and John was lying on the beach, reading the paper, okay, and you were lying down in the sunbed or whatever, and then you notice that he's a little hole cut in the paper, okay, and he's pretending he's reading the Observer, but he's looking through it, and he's watching all the women passing by in their bikinis, you understand what I mean, okay? He's the paper up like that, but he's really watching everything that's going on. Now, would you pass no heed, would you get into a rage and give out to him? Or would you get a bucket of cold water to throw on him and to cool him down? You know, what would you do? Or would you say, ah, oh, that's a freaking idiot? No. <laughs> well, I'd probably say that's the freaking idiot anyway. No, I, I know, but apart from I, that. Apart from that, I'd say, I'd pass no heat. You'd pass no heat. You don't mind them looking at other girls, no? I'd say he would be. You say he would be looking at another girl. 
Would you be buying them pair or sets or whatever you call it? No? <laughs> or is that just for you? <laughs> you hope not. So you think you'd be fancying other women? But just hope, where has he gone? Is he safe? <laughs> All right, so you say, what you're saying is that he'd be a farmer again. If he was on the holidays line and he was peeping through the paper, you'd pass no heed, okay? If he's buying a special gift, he'd, he'd uh, you know, no. silk or... No, Tommy! <laughs> Do I have to tell you that? Yeah, I know. Sure. <laughs> so you have to tell us everything. Sure, I might as well now. They're lacy. Lacy. Good man, O'Connor. <laughs> Can you imagine him going in and buying that? <laughs> and he was probably talking like Father Kyogun when he was doing it. <laughs> he probably dressed up as a priest and went in and bought them. Oh, God bless us. Yeah, I, oh, in Dalton. <laughs> now, we had to ask him a couple of questions. Okay? Now, when did you last have a bath or shower together? Was it never? Was it last year? Last month? Last week? Or what? What did John tell us? Never. Never. <laughs> But of course, you see, that's what he said, but he said it wasn't the truth. <laughs> was it the night that he bought you the lacy chat? <laughs> huh? No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> there we are. Now, we asked him, if you were to have plastic surgery, okay, what part of your body would you get done? And he was very definite about the answer. <laughs> Think for a minute, no? My tummy. Your tummy? Or my ear. Your ear? <laughs> Jesus, there's only one ear. <laughs> That's why you have your hair down there. <laughs> no, he didn't I'm say your tummy. Do you know what he said? Do you know what he said? Hurrah! <laughs> he said you don't like your arse. And he said, what does the matter if you can't see it? <laughs> he says, you have a bit of a problem with it. <laughs> Maybe that's why he bought you the lacy chaps to, to cover it up. <laughs> oh, good Jesus. <laughs> now, what would you ideal holidays? Touring holiday, skiing holiday, golf holiday, sun holiday, or some other kind of a holiday? What did he say? A skiing holiday. Skiing holiday, yeah. He said you were just back from one, is that right? I wish. You wish, Sean? No. Well, out in comma. <laughs> the days of Christmas, yeah, we were. Yeah, you were skiing. Skiing in and out. Hope it didn't fall on your arse. <laughs> okay. Now, the next question we asked him was what colour of a nightdress, if any, did you wear on your wedding night? Remember that in that boy. He remembers going to bed at half six. I and he remembers you coming up in your white dress. Now, what does he remember after that? He was like me, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> go on, now, go on. What colour? Multiple choice, no. No, we asked him what colour, right? Huh? None. You mean your very first night sleeping with John O'Connor? <laughs> That's for Father Kyogun at Hope anyway. <laughs> and you didn't wear a nightdress. <laughs> he said you did. Not that he could remember much about it, he was crooked, he said. <laughs> the BBC fellas, Kevin and Desi and all the boys, they were probably all up in the room, you see. <laughs> and I, Lorraine, what colour did he say? John said pink, and you said none. <laughs> wow. Which of, now tell us, which of them is the truth? Tell us the truth. Go on. I don't know. It's a bit hazy. It's a bit hazy. I'd say you were a bit hazy. <laughs> so none. Yeah. All right, fine, but different answer than he gave us. Anyway.